First up, during an appearance on Fox and Friends this week, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich proclaimed that Donald Trump is a candidate made by the media in shows like Fox and Friends, who Gingrich says is particularly friendly to the Donald. Ever since he announced his candidacy last summer, Donald Trump has appeared as a regular Monday morning guest on Fox and Friends. Merry Christmas. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Uh, you have a nice Christmas, by the way? That kind of friendly banter is pretty much par for the course. Donald Trump, congratulations. I watched you last night, and you have to have a sense of relief. So this week, former Republican House Speaker Newt Gingrich called them out. He was on your show, I think, more than any other show. Every it, was always a, it was always a happy, positive conversation. And Gingrich said that essentially amounts to free airtime. The billionaire is spending the least amount of money and oh, running yeah. away with this thing. Well, it's going to make people. Of you guys. What? That's, you mean, look, Don, that's because that's of you guys. Donald Trump gets up in the morning, tweets to the entire planet at no cost, picks up the phone, calls yeah. you, has a great conversation for about eight minutes, which would have cost him a ton in commercial money. Fox and Friends co-host Brian Kilmeade balked, saying other candidates have refused to appear, including Jeb Bush. Donald Trump from day one made himself available to big and small. Okay. But if Ben Carson were available every Tuesday, would you take him too? Yeah, I'm just not buying this. I mean, they made uh, exceptions for Donald Trump and not, not Trump, not just Fox and Friends, everybody. I mean, Chuck Todd at NBC finally put his foot down, but no candidate was ever calling in the way he did. And Fox and Friends is way exceptional in the point where they, they did nothing but positive and happy stories, I mean, congratulating him on his win in New Hampshire, I mean, and, and doing nothing but negative stories about Hillary Clinton. So they were really over the top. But it's really been almost every network. However, um, Brian Kilmeade is right when he says certain candidates don't want the free airtime. They just don't want it. Jeb Bush was one of them. I tried to get a quick interview with him, and his campaign people said to me, oh, no, he, he spoke to the media yesterday. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, there are people who don't don't want to, to mix it up like this. Well, I think maybe you can answer that for yourself, John. A lot of them are for, for afraid of the kind of, uh, you know, interaction, dialogue they're going to get into. Right. It depends on who's asking. Exactly. You know, they don't want tough questions. Trump doesn't particularly seem to care, although he, too, is selective. The only uh, local Boston TV station that got a one-on-one -on -one with him was the Fox of affiliate, all due respect to them, but I think you see that mm -hmm. selection in play. Newt Gingrich is absolutely right. Uh, the uh, news media, particularly the cable nets, have made millions and millions of dollars in in-kind contributions to the Trump campaign because, look, think back to, was it 1993 that the late John F. Kennedy Jr. unveiled George Magazine, remember? Oh, you know, Madonna's musings mm -hmm. on this and Julia Roberts yeah, yeah. visiting Haiti. And the era of out-of-control politics as infotainment was officially christened. Here we are these many years later, and it's completely overwhelmed the 2016 presidential race, at least on the Republican side. I think we're well down that slippery slope, and uh, look out below. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, in addition to all of the attention that, that Trump has gotten from the news media, I mean, he's been a celebrity for 30 years. He was a constant presence on entertainment media for 10 years. And now you've got not just Fox and Friends, but as, as we discussed last week, the, the Joe Scarborough show and CNN giving Trump all of this mm -hmm. attention because he's so good for ratings. And uh, it, 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 to a certain extent, you can't blame people for saying, well, we're going to put him on because he says yes and other people say no. But there has to be a sense of balance here. There, there has isn't. to be a sense yeah. of newsworthiness, and, and that's gone completely mm. out the window. Well, what you have here are mostly the shows that have a lot of time to fill. And so what are you going to do mm -hmm. if you get a call from the guy, he just tweeted something provocative to get your attention, and then he calls in himself. Half the time, they're not calling him. He's calling in, and they stop what they're doing and put him on. Now, that doesn't make it right or appropriate and certainly not balanced, but People have just been eating it up. I would like to add this, though. I think at the beginning, with the exception perhaps of Fox and Friends, because they admitted they had a every Monday, Monday, every yeah. Monday they did that. I think the people that were taking the calls originally were sort of doing the little chuckle. Yep. <laughs> yep. Isn't this funny? We're talking to him. He got no chance. And then by mm. the time it got serious, mm. well, they now have this history yep. of being um, not balanced and not fair to everybody else and never asking the man a hard question.
You know, yeah, one, one really quick point. One of the first things candidates learn is uh, to how to avoid the press. They go through media training about <laughs> exactly. how, how to be very, very careful, and uh, certainly Marco Rubio has that down. You yeah. just say what you want to say. Mm -hmm. What Donald Trump learned is he can say anything, anytime, and he never pays a penalty for it. In fact, it does better and better. So that's why... He is, feels perfectly free to call people up and to tweet and go yeah, on the yeah, air. Yeah. The others still yeah. remain mm -hmm. afraid to say yes to the bookers. So I think there's a, a couple of di uh, right. dynamics that Donald Trump takes full advantage of because he cares You're less. Absolutely right. Candidates, for the most part, are afraid of what they're going to say in a right. live environment, and Donald Trump doesn't care doesn't what he care. says. Mm -hmm.